hey, before you click away from this, I think that every American should see this, especially considering it's very relative to the wars that we're seeing and our governments can't continue to lie to us about why these things are happening and, and, and global tensions and why there's global tensions. This is a music video from Kyla's Moore um, from 2015 that perfectly sums up or abbreviates uh, the view of what a lot of non-American citizens probably have of America. Um, so stay tuned. Give it at least like three minutes maybe and see if it's something you want to check out. If my commentary is too long for you, uh, go check out the original. Um, you know, pause and read along with yourself. All right, y'all. I don't know how many of you have heard of this uh, this music video. It is in German. It's a long video, but it gives one hell of a breakdown of the history of um, the United States government's corrupt war machine and its effect on uh, relations with the world, I guess. Uh, before I get started, um, if you guys like my shirt right here, you may not notice it, but I'm going to tell you, if you if you get one of these, um, go over to gundubgear.com. It's a wonderful thing to have to open up conversations of political dialogue because it is humorous. Um, but it's also fascinating because you can wear fuck Joe Biden every day and people just don't even realize it if you don't point it out, much like everything that's happening in the world right now. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of free thinkers that actually pay attention and look and notice things like subliminal messaging in plaid. So go over to Gundep Gear and get some speakeasy plaid. Let's get going. All right, so this is um, a song called, uh, I don't, I think it's Leben und Todes Imperialismus, which, so it's in German, but there is um, English subtitles. Um, to go along, but this is, uh, my computer works, no, this is the, uh, the title, if you want to look it up, if you just want to go and get uh, the full length, um, video and, and listen to it, it's got a good beat, a good flow, it's just, you know, it's got some fast moving English subtitles, um, and it's, there's a lot going on in it. All right, so let's get it. Wird langsam Zeit, mich zu der Scheiße hier zu äußern. Die Lügen, die ihr überall verbreitet, auch in Deutschland. Früher war's der Al-Qaida Clan und Mujahedin. Heute sieht man, wie sie mit den Läufen auf die Russen ziehen. Wie es heute ist, war nicht unser Wille, ehrlich. Eure Propaganda macht die Lage brandgefährlich. Ob Zeitung oder im TV, sie lügen nur, um uns zu lenken. Schüren durch die Hasskampagne Feindbilder in unserem Denken. Ihr seid sinnbefreit und schreit uns Hetze. Man, it goes really fast and the, uh... The flow is really good, but it's it's just it's it's kind of hard to get the uh, read the lyrics. So I'm 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 just gonna kick it back, and uh, I'm gonna read as he goes along. I'm gonna try to read it out loud for you guys. It's really about time to speak out on the shit here. The lies you spread everywhere in Germany as well. It used to be Al-Qaeda clan and Mujahid. Today one can watch them at the point. Man, this is, a, this, is, this, is, this is hard. I do not speak German at all. I got this off of a, uh, from a follower. Um, I, I uh, shared a, 
some Tom McDonald uh, music on Twitter, and I caught a follower that sent me this video uh, from Germany. And this is from 2008, I, I recall. Um, March, March 24th of 2015. So this is... Um, towards the end of Barack Obama's uh, second term. Auch in Deutschland früher war's der Al Qaeda Clan und Mujahideen. Today one can watch them point at the Russians over the barrels of their guns. Heute sieht man, wie sie mit den Läufen auf die Russen ziehen, wie es heute. The way it is today was not our will, honestly. Your propaganda makes me things dead dangerous, whether it's newspapers or TV. They lie for the sake of directing us. They create boogeymen in our thinking using hate campaigns. You're out of your minds and scream hatred into our faces and immediately villainize anyone who objects. Do you truly believe that the entire world population doesn't have a clue? Like I, this is the question. This is, it raises a huge question. Like did did uh, was the federal government, federal American government, um, infiltrated by terrorists? Are 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 these people that are propagating these wars? Um, terrorists like why why are we fighting wars rather than um, being diplomatic through commerce and setting up um, trade agreements that benefit everybody and stop using bureaucracy to sell out the American people and then they go and they go start wars in other countries they arm our enemies or not our enemies, they, they create enemies for the American people while they arm them, piss them off even more, and now they're letting them flood through the southern border. Shame on you. Freedom of speech used to be your father. We trusted you, but now this image is free. From Spiegel to build German newspapers, the same child of mine. You seem to forget about your mission as the fourth estate with a voice. But no problem, I will put you back in the right way. I will narrate it. I will narrate it. These dude just they go so fast. I will narrate it for you. Hold on a moment. It began with division through a city, right on a street. The cold feud has always been interesting for you. So you can raise military spending. Because now there was a new opponent to battle. One wanted to scare each other off with new military equipment. Arrogant West wanted to be global everywhere. Founded the club and played with fire from day one. Uh, you guys uh, maybe realize that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, has, has your views changed from when you were a kid or from when you were younger, from when... Everything that we've seen over the past few years, um, just the control tactics of our governments and the unelected WEF and the World Health Organizations and, um, you know, the United Nations has, has seen the COVID response and um, like Justin Trudeau seizing bank accounts, um, the constant pushing of some sort of an ism, whether it be racism or uh, sexism. Uh, homophobia, heterophobia, like um, 
Have you seen how they're using all of these for control tactics now and understanding maybe what people in foreign nations were going through when our federal government was going into these places and, and, and subjecting them to their will, which we thought was our will, and we thought that it was just, you know, spreading democracy. Well, democracy leads to communism, and this is, uh, you know, it's been a globalist effort. Uh, let me know in the comments. Oh, like and subscribe too, please. All right, founded the club and played with fire from day one. And what followed that bombing Mossadegh out of Iran to get a hold of the oil. A dictator got instituted. The Shah was a butcher. In gratitude for that, oil was nicely flowing again in the U.S. market. And then you moved on like locusts. Do you remember the oil prices? I like. I remember how like outrageous the oil prices were. I think it was under Obama, but like people were pissed. And I, I remember I live in a small town. Some jackass was doing like fifteen or five miles an hour between five and probably like five miles an hour, like swinging his shirt out the window of his truck blocking a whole row of traffic and nobody could pass him because of oncoming traffic and how slow he was going. And then there's also, you know, people are bitches and don't just go around people that are fucking morons. Um, so, you know, you get the first one or two cars up front that, that don't want to pass. So now, you, you know, the, everybody behind them ends up with a row of a deeper and deeper row of cars that they would have to pass just to get around and everybody, you, you get what I'm saying. But, you know, you get two pussies up at the front of the line. Nobody can do anything because of the two pussies at the front of the line. But anyway, I, uh, the guy ended up pulling to the gas station I need to pull into. And he was in there screaming about the gas prices and how he couldn't afford, you know, they were taking the shirt off of his back. And that's why he was swinging his shirt out the window and throwing it. I don't Not doing any good pissing everybody off in your small town because um, there's really nothing we can do about it. But. Those I remember the gas price was like six dollars, and that was that was back that was back. Uh, I mean that was ten, fifteen. It was about ten years ago, I think. So you know that that's, I don't know. It, it was definitely crazy. Um. But uh, all of these wars for oil, and you moved on like locusts. Because you knew that Saddam Hussein would great, gratefully help you. Since Khamenei is victorious in Iran, you guys, I, I'm not like super um, extremely knowledgeable on all the history, especially when it comes to the foreign relations and the foreign leaders and dictators. So I don't know all of these names, but... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this because I think that this is something that should be heard and that uh, you guys should spread out the, the original video. Um, not necessarily mine, but, you know, if you share mine, I'd greatly appreciate it. But uh, go find the original. It's Kyles Moore, um, Leban, uh, Leban un tad des imperialism. So just look that up or I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to make sure I link it in the, um, in the comments. But instead of letting go, you supported Saddam in his next war. Then you delivered weapons to Iraq that were used to battle people with poison gas. 750,000 dead in the battle, and you knew what Hussein was doing there. The files are open. In the 80s, the Russians invaded the neighboring country. From this moment on, Islamists weren't doomed anymore. You simply swapped friend against foe. 
today we realize it was going to be like that more often after that. All was going well with the states. Everything was according to plan. Now the next one had to pay. Al-Qaeda starts. Then you supported bin Laden, the Saudi soldier, and funded his training as best you could. Um, you guys, I'm, I'm assuming most of you have heard about um, the CIA or our, our military, our government, training um, Osama bin Laden and uh, then turning against him, and that was kind of what prompted um, the uh, prompted 9-11. Uh, for he would shoot at the Reds, it wasn't about democracy, but about the Soviets never gaining influence and getting a hold of resources. Remember, because you were part of what fed the terror. Supporting the Mujahideen uh, was worth a few millions from you. You supported until eventually the Russians fled. But since the victory of jihadists, you only left rubble behind. Success was there because with a bunch of, uh, with, a, with a bunch on money, victory was accomplished, but after that you pulled out. You didn't rebuild what had been turned into dust. And what did you do in return? You scooted. Again, you ditched your warriors. Does that sound like that's that doesn't sound like something America would do. I can't think of any homeless vets that might hold that same sentiment or any PTSD-ridden vets that might hold that same sentiment and can't get the, or haven't have issues getting medical care or psychiatric care or, um, you know, or the 22 that might kill themselves every single day. Later, planes came flying to you towards the capital. But we are still a long way from that because it was many others' turns before that. That's what you're well known for. The rest of your content was the target. Continent was the target. Secretly, you were hoping you will become ruler of the world in the game. But not every state joined you. So you came up with the idea to simply send economic hitmen. They lied, deliberately made false projections. Um, hey, you guys, make sure that you're paying attention to the imagery um, while I'm reading for you. Because I'm not really paying attention to imagery, so I'm not really commenting on it. This way they got a hold of every treasure in the ground. They were supposed to obtain debt. Go so fast. They were supposed to obtain debt for projects. At that time it was known that they wouldn't be able to pay the debt. That was the award money, business, corruption. The way everything was to be, digged out of the ground anyway. Through those policies, millions were made. Blind, because even IMF and World Bank stood by your side. Strange enough, no one anticipated those were parts of a plan. Debt here, debt there, the states were broken then. When they didn't fall for it, there was still murder. And if someone wouldn't follow, there was trouble to come straight away. 
What other did you do in Guatemala? When President Arbenz refused to do everything he said, you whacked him and helped the fruit just so everybody knew what may happen in the future. By doing what you said, this is what happens to our enemies. Because our enemies sometimes just go to waste. Yeah. You enjoyed to ride the world like a cowboy. You just had to show your power to the world. Hitmen in, hitmen out, bulging accounts. Bankrupt every state. The poor bear the costs. I mean, this is just... The song is just crazy. Um, it's just the amount of money that goes into war. Um, so unnecessary, too. Like, we saw what Trump did. He brought peace to the world. Um, and you can say the Democrats. I try to avoid the partisan political party talk, but the establishment, which is the Democrats and the Republicans that are in power, they're owned. 98% of all of them are owned by the same corporations that own the media that helped create and harbor um, the animosity that was the, 20, 20, was the 2019 riots. Um, the BLM looting and burning, you know, that's a whole nother topic. But, you know, it's basically the same thing. That, that was the infiltration, the BLM, that was, that was essentially what our government has been doing overseas, and they did it in our country. How many times did you co-fund terrorists? Because you knew there was someone who was sent open to your bribes. That's your way of swiftly destroying an elected president. Hmm. 2020 ring a bell. Yes, the mobster's CIA deals with that swift. Oil is your fuel for the mad rush. You support dictators if that leads to business with them. You buckled down in Saudi Arabia. And they became your best friend. Jekor. I'm not sure what Jekor is. Everybody knows the Saudis are tyrants with Czechs. Czechs. I'm not sure what that word is. Uh, mistreating the law covered by the state. Taking a walk, holding hands, kissing each other. Wet and nice. Thus showing what friendship means. The killing continued. Salvador Allende. Project Fubelt stopped dead in its tracks. Kissinger later said, No, it wasn't ourselves. But we. Destabilized with influence and money, yeah. The story continued with coke. Secret business with profits. Transported cocaine and CIA planes. They comfortably chartered tons to the streets. That good old crack epidemic. Boy, the amount of manipulative control they were able to take with that welfare program, isn't it? But sometimes a flight went down, but the cover-up went well. Since back then, the masses didn't watch on YouTube. I mean, can you imagine? Like, oh, oh this is this is the, this is one of the things about the internet and the fact that we're able to uncover so much. Um, but that's 
part of the problem with the internet is there's so much information that there's just too much to cover and there's too much to d divest in, um, figure out what is right and, or uh, what's correct or what's a half truth. Um, it's, it's just crazy. I mean, thank God for the internet. Uh, we, we would still be in the dark. They would still think Alex Jones is just a crazy conspiracy theorist. You had a foothold in Panama. But Carter and Torrijos were paddling their own canoe. They agreed on contracts with a huge rebut to close down terror camps and then you lost the canal. Benchtail group at work, CIA required. Plane crash still not resolved until today. Thomas Sanka also refused to play your game. That's why he became the next candidate on your kill list. Shortly after his big speech, his coffin was already custom made. Let's now follow the blood trails to Asia where there were three million dead Vietnamese and you entered the scene after a false flag attack. Monsanto and Bayer AG were also at the ready. You guys realize how much poison that they put, excuse me, how much poison they put over um, Vietnam to, to poison the foliage so that they could have pathways um, for the troops. And uh, from my understanding, uh, they did cloud seeding also uh, so that they could flood out the Charlie holes. Um, but Vietnam, it's just, just crazy. There's so much shit that we do not know. Um, and because it's not happening today, nobody's learning anything about it. Like the, the, uh, the few are the only ones that are actually doing any learning on it. Um, and the, the masses just have no clue. So they stay ignorant to what's being done today. Uh, Agent Orange set an example. Hegemonial. Millions annihilated, malformed. Chemicals poisoned entire generations. I mean, it, it, they poisoned generations of Americans too. Like, we have, think about how much sicker we've gotten since then. Like, those, these, we have no idea how much these poisons created generational DNA trauma. But 89, there was a revolution. The wall and also the iron curtain. Those were the wars, all those wars. Do you remember back then? Panama, Guatemala, Chile, Nicaragua, the First and Second Gulf War. And whatever they're called on your way to the top. And there's so many I didn't even mention. What about Indonesia, Haiti, Cambodia, Libya, Cuba, Congo? What about Big Bay? Big Bay. Uh, Gladio Secret armies, Operation Northwoods, or Iran Contra. Which wasn't only about weapons, but also about a hell of a lot of cocaine. That was the story. And here comes the crescendo. Listen. Listen. Because it's not taught at school, here are the verses. Proving wrong history lessons that were lies. No one may know this, but this is the truth. And this is the greatest enemy of the state. Unbelievable. Do you need manipulation? Does your media promote war? Yeah, think about Ukraine. I mean, look at Israel and Gaza, man. They're, they're screwed right now. They don't know which way to talk about it. I mean, uh, I know a lot, everybody is, is in support, not everybody's in support of Israel, but 
obviously when there's a terror attack, you know, the retaliatory response um, should be great, but um, now you have Israel there terrorizing the Palestinian people, um, which, you know, whatever you think about that, that's still, all of these people that are dying aren't, aren't guilty parties. Um, but we condone it. But we don't. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really weird catch-22. Because, um, you know, I fully understand if, if that happened to my family, what my reaction is going to be. Um, but then you just, you create that that whirlwind of retaliatory behavior. And, I mean, it, it, it's what creates the terrorist cells because what else are they to do um, when they're being terrorized by a government? Write notes to journalists who happen to be, or who happen to just be think tank mouthpieces. It's time to openly ask questions. After this song, the veneer will slowly start breaking. Little girl is lying so and so deliberately. I, I'm not sure what this is uh, in regards to. Second Gulf War needs a cause, entering the war. The incubator lie will be described in history books. I'll have to look into that. But man, there's a lot of babies in that incubator right there. As a PR campaign to help you enter the war. Yeah. I mean, that's... Kind of one of the things about the beheaded babies and the burnt babies, uh, do I doubt that it happened? I don't doubt that it happened. I mean, these people that kill innocent people, um, just slaughter them. I, it's hard to believe that they wouldn't do what is said that they did. I haven't seen any of the images, uh, but, you know, we also have the issue with AI and deep fakes. Um, the ability to Photoshop, uh, I... I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of all of the war propaganda is kind of something that I I don't really get super into because there's so much propaganda. Um, now we could start counting all the dead again. But the war crimes are not supposed to be mentioned. Already done. That's how it continues in Yugoslavia. The war was simply started without UN approval. Once again, did you guys you guys ever see that video of Adam Schiff declaring war on Russia in um, January of 2020? Um, so he he to quote him directly is um, he said the United States aid Ukraine and her people so that we can fight Russia over there and we don't have to fight Russia over here. Um, that was when Trump was still in office. Um, but that that's that tells you the power of the, the bureaucratic establishment, the career politicians. They have secret agendas um, to control the world and um, commerce, our supply chains. They've outsourced a lot of our supply chains. The FDA removed the, um, the requirement to label country of origin on meat that's imported um, they're trying to ban farming in the United States because of cow farts creating pollution um, that plants need to eat and survive. You know, it, it doesn't make sense unless you think about the long-term effects of control. You'd like to call it hu uh, a human war, but one could also call it a NATO war, offensive war. NATO is supposed to be a defensive um, structure, not offensive. I have so many questions, just like the victims. 
what was it with the uranium in that war again? That, was that Hillary Clinton that sold uranium to Russia? 2001 in September it happened. Passenger jet attacks the states. Aimed for World Trade Center. What a punch. It burns itself into the minds of everyone who watches it. Four machines occupied, two hit skyscrapers that are completely reduced to rubble in their own footprint. Hardly anyone knows there was a third one that went down. Without being hit by a plane, and only in a few seconds. Like, you got this is, this is part of the, the what, what's, how did the, uh, everything just fall directly into its own footprint? Like, these are, they, they, it seems so much like controlled blasts. So it's kind of hard to doubt the, con, the, the conspiracy theories. Um, and the fact that they just came in and started pulling rubble out. They didn't, they didn't sift through anything for evidence. They just started pulling rubble out. And then there's also the, uh, uh, the theory that there was a bunch of gold, I think, under Building 7. So that was kind of the reason that they just came in with the dump trucks and just started pulling everything out. Uh, we were robbed of our gold stash. I don't, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot to it. I vaguely follow some of this stuff. And um, if you want to go down a rabbit hole... Um, so yeah, Building 7 fell without being hit by a plane and only in a few seconds. They said it was because there was a fire on it. Oh, yeah, I, was still, I was still a boy, but later, when I realized that something about Building 7 reached like crazy, I read many sources and official investigations and had to ask the hundreds of questions that bothered me. It's Killies Moore. Now you go and read the commission report. Not even one word about Building 7, which made me wonder. The BBC already reported even before the tower went down. I, I recall the talks of that. In retaliation, Afghanistan even though none of the perpetrators were Afghans. But most of them came from where the Saudis were Just like your buddy, the one you commissioned back then. You make it a point to the world that you're the police Only covertly this battle was connected to a what is a war to pick up the barrels? We reckons up profit for human lives. Later then, the mass murder in Iraq was presented. Though it's well known that images of WMD were clearly fake. Still, the bombardment of Iraq followed. The death count rose to a million figures. How you critic stop arguing, it's fine. But facts about these things, there are plenty. Remember, it was 2011. Gaddafi got blasted out of his country in Libya. To counter Assad, the enemies were supposed to support with money and weapons for the fight of the rebels in Syria. That isn't funny because terror is a product. War is the beginning and not a final point. Then ISIS emerged, just so you know. The prerogative of interpretation changes swiftly as to who is friend or foe. Either oneself goes to battle or one supports terror. A part of the problem has been drawn by themselves. I have now recalled all this. 
the corollary is just that we ought to hate no one. Man, you, I got a thing about hate. I try to avoid even saying, um, uh, not not hate. I mean, I'm, I'm fine talking about hate, but I try to avoid associating hate or um, projecting hate on anybody else. So I try not to say I hate together. Um, it makes you a bit more aware of, of what you're saying and um, subliminal messaging that you might be sending to your kids when you say I hate onions. Like you're, there's a slight undertone of teaching your children to hate uh, for no reason. Just say I don't like onions. You know, um, I I try to teach or explain to people why to not say I hate, um, and it, it makes you think a little bit more when you speak. Uh, they can't be undone. The mistakes. We want peace. We'll everyone. I'm not doing this here for myself. For all I'm doing this for the earth that's struggling to survive. For opinions that are suppressed by the media. Because so many times, only parts of the subject are broadcasted. For the states, where people fight for their rights. For Russia, where just as many people are fighting. For Europe, the hardest time for 60 years. For the future, it mustn't be even worse. Israel and Palestine eventually peace one time. Mankind, when will the, we end the wars? For my children, whom I will later be able to tell. Your dad was in existence. You need to understand the past to learn from it. Before history repeats itself. Imperialism sounds the bell for the ultimate end game for the world. Center of the game right now is the Ukraine global power struggle. The knives are out. Uh, this is... I'm not... I'm not familiar enough with the, um, the, the history on the Ukraine and the Russia stuff. I know that uh, Russia attacked... Was it Jordan under Obama? Um, yeah. uh, Ukraine global power struggle the knives are out when interests collide the world gets pushed towards the brink of the abyss and you guys are familiar that uh, um, the US and the NATO had a, a, a treaty with Russia that they wouldn't move NATO any closer um, into Russia or towards Russia and the U.S. and NATO have constantly gone against that. So, um, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not excusing Putin's invasion and the, the murder and death and chaos that's been created from it, but I am calling out um, America and NATO for going against a treaty um, which caused the feeling of Russia needing to punch the bully in the mouth. And the bully is um, the United States globalists and NATO um, using uh, the power of America um, to, to try to dominate the world. Uh, and not, not for the interest of the betterment of mankind. It's for the interest of the pocketbooks of billionaires and trillionaires and corrupt politicians. Oh, when interests collide, the world gets pushed toward the brink of the abyss. Gradually, when the powers that be set up, men against men, though they're subverse press where they cover those crimes and ignite firestorms with a smile, they come up with a smile for every master of the West, and it's mysterious mistresses while they hammer down Putin. That's not a coincidence, like described in Brzezinski's book. 
because the homogeny on the continent will be determined there. From Maiden to Odessa, towards the Junta in Kiev. Pretending that doesn't mean they're playing with our future. But all the time we hear about signing and never about the billions of dollar bills all the time we read about annexations in the papers their path of expanding NATO to the east is well concealed though they keep pointing to the aggression of the one side and then they play down fascists whose Gamets are decorated with Two perfidus, come on, tell me why did you remain silent? When they were screaming out they want to shoot Germans Sinister games, you're quiet about fascists. But on comparison with Hitler, you're right in the first line. And you cheer for those who push for extermination. History shows what happens when they, when they stay silent. Ungraspable. Just like when the MH17 part came down. And you rotten desk criminals wanted to draw profit from the dead. Without proof, let alone even evidence. And then put the blame for the victims on the Russians. Unproven, great Spiegel, uh, new magazine. Stop Putin now, Spiegel's cover story. What a great cover story, but not with the desired outcome. The front line is drawn and you would love to send us marches. With the lines that came out of your blood, smeared ball pen refills. With your blood smeared ball pen refills. But resistance began to form. Because many grasp now that these are mostly lucrative wars. We cannot provide refuge for Snowden, but have no qualms. Since we can earn good money from the bloodshed. And I won't let anyone forbid me to speak out. No matter how many media bullets come flying. I will fight for freedom until I end it. Or end in the pit someday. I will fight for the freedom. Imperialism. Rest in peace. Imperialismus. Ruhe in Frieden. Right. I'm gonna run that in the background a little bit. What did you guys think about that? Um, you gonna go back and watch the whole video, uh, the original? Uh, keep talking to my mic right here, but the camera's over here. Um, uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, by the way, I got a strike on YouTube for uh, um, for promoting. I guess something like this. I guess it's a call to violence or conspiracy theory. I really like this beat. I wish I understood German so I could just enjoy the song. Um, you guys, if you like stuff like this and haven't heard of Tom McDonald, you need to go check out Tom McDonald. Listen to some of his songs. Anyway, that's it. I'm sure this is like a 25-minute video now, so... Um, I'm out. Don't forget to go to gundupgear.com. Support your First and Second Amendment.